little bit about my book. Well, its title, first of all, is uh, Jesus, Man, Not Myth. And uh, if there's a title that I came up with, almost in desperation, because it was my objective not to alienate anyone particularly, and yet, any time you mention the word Jesus, you're going to set people's teeth on edge, or some people you're going to upset, or some people you're going to um, create expectations that you're not going to meet. So, that, uh, that title that I came up with, Jesus, Man, Not Myth, is, um, incorporates those two basic ideas. One is that he is very much human. And secondly, uh, it's not mythological. This is a historic event and is the basis, of course, for the Christian faith. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second issue that I faced when I was uh, writing the book was that in modern day terms, the story of Jesus, written 2,000 years ago, is not written in terms that modern people can easily understand. We think differently, we see the world differently, we try to interpret it differently. So our storytelling is of a very different nature than it was 2,000 years ago. The expect experience of people, the expectations of people 2,000 years ago were very different. They saw the world in terms of the supernatural impinging constantly in the world of the, the ordinary. Now, we don't see it that way. Um, we know what causes lightning. We know what causes disease. We know what causes mental illness. We know what causes volcanoes. We know what causes earthquakes. These are not the immediate um, effects of the divine passing judgment on us or punishing us or or bringing retribution to us you know this 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 um, construct which existed 2000 years ago doesn't exist anymore and so to tell jesus story in modern day terms is to tell his psychological story the story of a real person in real time doing real things and experiencing those things in the context of the 21st century. That was my challenge. And yet we have information about this person of Jesus and again that the questions that arise around that information, specifically the information that we have in the Gospels themselves, and in the commentaries of the Gospel of those first century. This has been challenged over the past 50, 60 years, has been seriously challenged in all kinds of ways. And now we have authors claiming that the, no, nothing was written about Jesus in a coherent way until 70, 80, even 90 years after. Um, his birth. I question that. And so uh, a part of the reason why I wrote the book was to try and dig beneath the assumptions or the criticisms or the doubts of people and to re-establish a baseline of our understanding this person as a an individual who is experiencing the profound questions and issues that human life poses.